um, today it's the 26th of April. Yesterday it was uh, the anniversary of uh, 50 years of uh, freedom for the Portuguese. Parabéns. And uh, today it's Friday. So finally it rains. Not much, but it does rain, so that's good. We will have some days with lesser uh, warm weather and more moist. So, yeah. Jack is doing the water, he will show you later on. And I'm doing transplanting and seeding in the polytunnel with Lestat. <laughs> you will see that later too. So, yeah. Welcome. Enjoy. Enjoy the video. Uh, I hope you like it. Well, otherwise you won't watch, probably. Please don't forget to subscribe because we have more people that watch than subscribers. And, well, that's a pity. So please subscribe. Uh, it doesn't touch you anything. Just subscribe and for us, yeah, we can grow as a channel. And uh, we like to do the YouTube videos, of course, but yeah, we want to grow too. Uh, so, uh, yeah. If you like it, subscribe it. <laughs> but first, you have to watch the video before you decide that you like it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll leave a comment. Let's watch the videos of uh, the water, the polytunnels, the dogs, etc. etc. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi, we are Jack and Ramona, and welcome to our channel. In 2023, we bought an old stone farm in Portugal. We left the Netherlands to start a new life closer to nature, grow our own vegetables, create a food forest, learning new skills, <laughs> and probably making mistakes on the way. We have to do a lot of things to call this a farm, but we have the land, so let's do this! Good morning guys! It is fris, as they say it in Dutch, it's fresh. Brrr. Ah, there's Jack. I hope, I hope. <laughs> Going to get some building materials. Yeah, and I'm going to the stufa to look at our little ones, my babies. And if the irrigation did it all right, because one IBC now is empty, finally. Thousand liters, guys. So in two months, but yeah, nearly a garden. So it doesn't say anything about how many uh, liters we will use up for our veggie garden in one week or one month. Because yeah, we need to have an indication, of course. So yesterday we bought two IBCs extra. Because 1000 liters is not enough when the summer will be very dry and very hot. So, uh, two. two for the orchard and two for the veggie garden. So then it's 2000 liters. Yeah. Ooh. 
Look, look, look. Petunias. Cherry tomatoes. Basil, but they're already ever too hot because of the sun. But the coming days will be very cold. Well, colder and probably rain. Let's hope so. So those are small borage. In Dutch it's called kamkammer kruid. You can eat the flowers, you can eat the leaves. And they do very well for the bees. And of course they are a very good companion plant for the tomatoes. Well, this is how it looks from the other side. Nice. And then the corn. Well, they are doing very wonderful. Look at these. That is getting big. Or not. So I soaked the corn for, well, probably too long. Because they had big roots, like uh, three centimeters already. And then I put it in the ground. Say a prayer and well, that worked. Sweet corn. And hello, a new Mr. Bean. This one obviously is doing great. This one I just planted. Remember, the grass is so strong here and it's so deep. It comes through the cardboard. Uh, well, even through the through the root cloth, <laughs> it's so sturdy and thick, and it's a survivor. The grass here, and I understand because it's yeah, it needs to be a survivor in this uh, climate. Okay, here we got eggplants too. I bought these, and he has a flower, so. Yeah, and sweet potatoes. So here are transplanted four. Bought these two. And two sweet potatoes in a raised bed. So they're still alive. <laughs> they're doing much better than my lettuce, uh, which lived for half a day. A heart speed to the city street.
Tell the YouTube family what you're going to do. We're going to build a small shed on this side to put the, what do you call it? The plow, the hand plow. Yeah, the water machine. Inside, yeah. The water hose inside and put a roof on it so the ring will fill up the tanks. Oh, that's very so clever. Little. Yeah, that's clever. This okay. week I'm going to get some old pallets mm -hmm. and put a, a wall up here. Okay. And the tanks will be more in the shade. Yeah. So, shadow. Yeah, in the shadow. So we had a deal that if we clean someone's land, we, we get all the wood that's on there. Then we can have all the old wood and pallets. It's and about 25, 20 pallets, I think. Yeah, so that's, yeah, um, that's very nice. Some big beams, wood yeah. beams, yeah. 10, 10 by 4 or so, <coughs> 6 by 4. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so that's, that's for this week. That's the Portuguese way, right? Yeah. You do something for, yeah, something in return, not, not always for money. So, yeah, that's nice. Back to work. bear so you like the cold <laughs> you're not built for hot weather huh mm. with the uh with the <laughs> ozo with the ozo <laughs> uh, maybe you have to help to unwind it here yeah? I walk that way no yeah no yeah no Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The mess, the mess. <laughs> Call me. Oh, no. You said, oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> Funny man. <laughs> Welcome to my field of babies. No. Welcome in a polytunnel, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's get that sunflower. <clears throat> it's not easy getting them out, but they look wonderful, don't they? <gasps> I'm sorry. Now I give you a big, big bucket. Yeah. Alrighty. Some water.
from sand so it keeps keeps the upper side from drying out and then we put it in a bucket with water All right. Same play. She sleeps underneath the table. <laughs> so cute. Hey, very cloudy day today. Windy, cloudy. Check on Ramona, what she's doing today. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, babe. Hi. Another day at the office? Yeah. What you doing? The big uh, babies. <laughs> they are in puberty. <laughs> so now uh, I'm uh, uh, gradually bringing them into the big bed. Giving them a bigger room. God. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks nice. Yeah. So olive tree mulch, mulch and pinewood mulch. Yeah. But these are inclusive included. The leaves. The leaves. Yeah. yeah. This is purely wood. Yeah, that's this better. This looks better. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So need more mulch. More mulching to do. <laughs> And we have only this little piece here that we need to do. Yeah. Because <laughs> half of it is, isn't even used. <laughs> yeah, so it's raining. <laughs> we run as fast as we can, right? <laughs> to the polytunnel. Yeah, and we close it. So we're waiting here. To... We're waiting here for the rain to stop or to be a little bit less like a drizzle <laughs> but now it's not a drizzle so it's good it's good you know you know why it's good <gasps> oh we are wet Alistad yeah mm, you want to go to sleep yeah <laughs> We have to wait, girl. Because we're in the polytunnel. I will be here for a while, I think. <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of rain. Oh well, I got my plans. <laughs> Mr. Jack is placing poles. Uh. Hello. Hello. And 
what you doing? Working. Yeah, of course. You are always working. It's a, it's a Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, making poles. Church was closed, so I thought I'd go work. Sorry again? Church was closed, so I thought I'd go work today. <laughs> poles. Yeah. Nice. To extend the vine yard. Yeah. Vin yard. We have two more plants over there. Mm -hmm. So I continue to put poles. Until yeah. there. So two more poles, two more, mm -hmm. what do you call it, like that, to make it stronger. Yeah, the, the start and the finish of the yeah. row. Well, we'll go here. Oh, oh, wait for me. Oh, oh, not so fast. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Jack, not so fast. <laughs> Can you please talk to the camera? So here's the last one coming. Okay. Because here's the last plant. Oh yeah. Oh, and that's one of the oldest. Yeah, I think it's the only one that from the old one. That and that one. Is growing. Yeah, two. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna stop here. Because the others look like this, dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it's a, a very big vineyard uh, in a couple of years. But it's normal, it's right? It's meaning, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, so I'm cutting down a willow, I'm cutting down a willow and that's too early because you shouldn't mm -hmm. but the company of those electrician lines, they go above here and then all over the land in the end so they are uh, responsible for everything that grows um, near eight, eight, sorry, near eight meters. They will come and cut everything for you, they say. So it has been a week. And in Portugal, they say tomorrow, and then they mean in three weeks or so. So yeah. That's a different uh, culture. <laughs> so he said, mañana. No, no, he said today. And he could speak English. It was a young fellow. And he said, uh, today. Yeah, could we coming today. We're going to do the brambles. Uh, everything that's in eight meters of the electricity lines. It's our responsibility. We will cut it. And we said, okay. So Jack just quit. Well, he started there and then they were here. So that's the line I mean, the biggest, not the small one. So, so we stopped because they will do all the brambles there on the rocks and everything. And here is the water. So this is the orchard. So we have a lot, lot of willows and I love them because you can build yeah, natural things uh, with it fences and baskets and well, yeah but if they gonna cut it maybe into small pieces or with a machine or you know in a way that it won't be useful for us so i said to jack i'm gonna cut it and then we can use all these branches because there are a lot so thick ones small ones everything yeah so that's the story of today branches they will grow new ones next year so, yeah. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Something flew in my throat. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Orchard, electro, electro, electric lines. It doesn't matter because they are resistant for fire. They say. So, every fruit tree 
azaneras and sobreiros, so cork oaks and the other oaks, stone oaks. They are good. It doesn't matter how high. Olive trees, it doesn't matter. Fruit trees, it doesn't matter. But brambles, that's a problem. Because they, well, they are quickly uh, on fire. As you can see in the other videos from us, they burn quite good, even if they are fresh and just cut it down. So brambles is an issue, and apparently willow. I don't think so, but because they grew near to the water, so I think they're very wet trees. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> That's why they're so bendy. They're known for that. But so orchard. Again, not a problem, okay? <laughs> Keep that in mind. So that's also the reason why you in Portugal can grow trees next to your house, but only if there are fruit trees. So guys, finally, I've got it. My Portuguese license plate. Finally, after a lot of time spending behind the computer, translating, calling, mailing. But finally, I did it. Got it. I know there are companies that do that for you. You pay them and they take care of everything. But I just wanted to do it myself because I think it's also a learning process. So very happy with it. I really like it. If you like it, then please subscribe, because that helps us quite a lot. So that's it for now. See you guys tomorrow. Ciao.